Do all these wires have you confused? Don't know what to do with this? Then welcome to this tutorial on using bipolar stepper motors. A bipolar stepper motor is a stepper motor with four wires. It has two windings. Here I'll call them A and B. A has the leads A1 and A2. B has the leads B1 and B2. Here we have a cross section through a motor with a rotor in the center with a magnet north at the top, south at the bottom. On the outside we have windings. Here the A winding is energized with south at the top, north at the bottom. You can think of A as being a continuous coil. If we reverse the polarity of the voltage on it, it swaps to north at the top, south at the bottom. Here I'll show the wires connecting to each of the coils and the voltages that we're applying to these wires. So here we can see A1 and A2. I've got negative and positive voltage on it. And we can swap that to positive and then negative. To start off, we'll cover a driving method called wave drive. To make one step with this, we de-energize the A winding and energize the B winding. Then to make the next step, we reverse the polarity on A, which attracts north down to the bottom. Then we energize B with the opposite polarity, negative then positive. And then we're back to the start. Now if we look at the voltages that we apply over time, we can see why it's called a wave drive. It looks like a Mexican wave passing through all the windings. And if we start stepping backwards in the opposite direction, we can see that the wave progresses the opposite way. Wave driving has one main disadvantage. That's that only one coil is activated at any one time which means that it has less torque than other driving methods. Next up, we'll look at full stepping the motor. In this scenario, both windings are active and the north is pulled to halfway between the two souths, and the same on the opposite ending. We can see A has positive than negative, and then B has positive than negative. To make the motor turn, we reverse the polarity on A which then makes the motor turn down to the next position. Our next step, we reverse the polarity on B, which makes the motor turn to the next position. Then we reverse the polarity on A again. And then our next step, we're back to where we started. If we continue through this progression, it kind of looks like a wave as well but it's too wide instead of one and has an overlap.